the Gunners Club, and well done for 2023. Shake my hand. Now, that it's, wasn't it's, that wasn't a Freemason's handshake that you've just given me. Did you want the little... Well, yeah. maybe. <laughs> for what we're doing today, maybe, because we're talking about Sazerac. Now, the first time this classic New Orleans Louisiana cocktail was done, it was made by a Mason for his fellow Masons. So if you're upon the square, sit back. We're what, going to have a little bit of fun. What, what's it called? Sazerac. Not Sassanac. Not Sassanac, no, which basically means the Saxon people in the Gaelic okay. tongue. And I know you so like the Gaelic tongue. <laughs> so Sazerac <laughs> was originally created in the 1830s in New Orleans, but it didn't call for rye whiskey. So it's, it's almost a little bit cheeky that they've called this rye whiskey Sazerac because there actually was a cognac of that time that the creator was very partial to. And so this drink originally called for cognac, which we know is made of grapes, as opposed to a rye whiskey. But phylloxeria, the disease which affects grapes, struck the grape production in France. And uh, people turned to the Native American product, the rye whiskey. And, and I notice it's ribbed for our pleasure. For mine too. Yeah. I'm looking forward to trying this. Now, the classic recipe calls for cognac, but as I said, they've gone across the rye whiskey also calls for just a rinse of the glass of absinthe. Do you remember, and we actually had quite a few views on the absinthe video mm -hmm. that we did. We had the whole fountain, we had the sugar cubes, the full accoutrement. And I'm sorry, how did they fun. go again? We did. Yeah. And Suze, you said to me, Gunnar, I could <laughs> stomach this if it came ready to drink in a bottle. Yes. And we we're ready to go. Yes. So let's do the next best thing um, and let's try Benedictine because it's similar. It's got like 27 or so odd herbs in it. And it's also got like the Like KFC. <laughs> I wonder if there's salt in this one in sugar as well. You never know. Um, so similar to that, it's got the absinthian artman. So what we're going to do is put ever such a small amount of this into the glass. It could be absinthe and just rinse it about Hang just on. a small amount. Ever small amount. Yeah, so just what they call a wash or a rinse of the glass. So what I've already done is put just a, a little bit of dried citrus in there. Why would you waste your time? Just pour some in. Well, yeah. we don't need that much. So why don't you do the same for yourself? Quick, efficient and courteous self-service. Okay, a man who's not a player. <laughs> if you're going to do it, you do it properly. Well, we do. Or you don't bother at all. Exactly right. <laughs> now, the recipe does call for a bit of simple syrup, which is basically sugar water. You can make it at home for a tenth of the price that you can buy it at the shops. True. Um, you brought that, but you had a false start by bringing out hundreds and thousands candies. I'm not sure if you were Davy Jones and the monkeys with this, if that's what was going on. But put that away and put ever such a small amount of the sugar in. Ever. Because we don't want it to be too bitter, but we want it to be complex. A little like you, huh? I'm all bitter. Is that enough? Yeah, that would be fantastic. Yeah, okay. Because what we're going to do is complement that with a little bit of bitters. There are different bitters now on the market that you can get. Um... And I'm finding a lot of bitters nowadays that you can buy include citrus with it. I've already added some dried citrus, so I wouldn't bother. We're going to go for a standard non-citrus bitters. If you could put a few dashes of that. Be careful with this stuff because I find the bottles are devilishly made, so you always end up with some of the bitters spraying all over you. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, stop the pickle talk. Mm. And then we go for the Cesarac. Now... I know you're being a bit po-faced about the whole thing. If you like, I'll switch across the discourse to French. And you can imagine you're in New Orleans, Louisiana in the 1830s. And this calls for some rye whiskey. Oh, uh, I think we're going ooh, to have some fun. They've made a song about that, haven't they? If I don't have more whiskey, I surely will die. And it's the one. And if you want to put a little bit of ice in as well, we're good to go. Yeah. The hand is back. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching some old episodes of The Adams Family, and uh, when the thing comes out with the hand... Yeah. Okay, beautiful. 
so when we were making this, you said, for goodness sakes, it's a simple cocktail. What does it matter? That's right. Well, it you matters so much. You wanted a shaker. You wanted all this stuff. We're in the Gunners Club. It's not a pussy farm. Just pour the stuff in and well, drink it. Well, how I wish it was a pussy farm. So there's that one <laughs> against you. But secondly, this is so important to Louisiana that the state legislature actually enshrined How in legislation. Go I got it through. <laughs> actually enshrined this as being the state drink of Louisiana. Is so it is right? actually that important to them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, I wouldn't have picked that. What? With this, with this particular drink? Yes. Exactly what we're about. Not to just have. like a generic rye whiskey. No, no. Oh. It's a Sazerac cocktail. Okay. So keep your apron on and we'll try this, brother. Brother. Oh, that's Actually, quite I'm pleasing. almost worried about trying this because it is so appetizing. And in fact, the sergeant's here marking the roll book and he said, wow, he can smell it from where he is. No, that's, that's me and the. Beans earlier. Okay. <laughs> well, I know the mobile laundry uh, unit hasn't been out for some time. Wow. Okay. That is different. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Now, all sins are forgiven when you use a dash of simple syrup anyway. That's why I encourage you to make it yourself uh, and use it liberally, particularly with spirits. It's like sunshine, isn't it? It's pretty damn good. Yes. I wasn't expecting that. But is that is that to do with the um, with the Benedictine and and the um, yeah. So I mean, if you look at bitters and the bitters, they're using a lot of. When I lived in Germany, they called like quite herbs and things like that, and that's exactly what the Benedictine is doing as well. Um, and the Benedictine is a bit luxurious. I mean, it sports that it's made in a, a flamboyant or something like that palace in France. So it's supposed to have some sort of mystique to it. But really what they're giving you is a combination of 27 little, odd little herbs. Little bald-headed fat monks. Yeah, with together with what we've got here in the bitters. Uh, and then the good old simple Sazerac rye whiskey. And remember when we went out to a speakeasy in yes. the city of Melbourne? Yes. And I tried rye whiskey for the very first time. And I thought, well, odds are I'm not going to like it. I loved it. I came about as a convert, didn't I? Yes, you did. And there was a lady from Texas who served us and they actually brought her out, these Aussies who were running the speakeasy and said, we actually, we've got a member of staff here. She's from Texas. She can recommend a good one for us. Okay. Uh, I became a convert to it. So I would love to try this straight, but I love what this has done actually for the cocktail. So look it up online. There's different ways of making the Sazerac yourself. It's a time honored process. Like I said, try it for yourself. Let us know what you think. I'll tell you what, this is not damn bad. I wasn't expecting this at all. In fact, Sergeant... Wrap your lips wrap around, your lips that, around big that, big boy. Tell us what you think. As you were, Gunner. Mm. <laughs> I'll have a mm, He says... <laughs> I think mm. the glass is gone. <laughs> well, folks, whilst we're waiting for his uh, conclusion... <laughs> he's given uh, his salute to the king, and here's to the king. Good on your to, big ears. And here's to all of you as well. Don't forget, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. Let us know what you reckon down below. We'll see you in 24. For more. <laughs> You're a poet and everything. That's true. Yeah.